Are excited because this is the week that begins Passover. Passover will begin on April the 5th and it runs through April the 13th. We will on the 9th celebrate as the world celebrates Easter. We in this house of HFWL will celebrate Passover. Passover is a pilgrimage feast. It is where the people of Israel would always remember the Passover lamb the lamb that was slain, that was put over the lentils, their doorways, so that the death angel would pass over as all the firstborn males of Egypt were killed. No one in the family of God, in the the Israelite nation was harmed. And it was their sign to leave Egypt, to be set free. They made their exodus. God sent them out of the iron furnace, of the prison of torment, and he sent them behind a spiritual pilgrimage of their own, our spiritual journey to the promised land. We must always celebrate Passover because the scripture literally says that it is an ordinance that should be always celebrated. So yes, I know that many of you will celebrate Easter. I like to call it Uh, Resurrection Day, Uh, but on Sunday, our house will be celebrating Resurrection Day, but also the beautiful ordinance of Passover. The same power that resurrected Jesus Christ from the grave on the third day is now resident in us. We are born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with power over death. He has given us authority over the enemy, and we must keep the enemy where? Under our feet. And I want you to really get this. The Lord calls you and I to be an overcomer. He sets us on our high places. Psalms 84, 5. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrimage. This is a word for you. Your heart this year should be set on pilgrimage. You are putting your best foot forward now. And you are saying to the Lord, I know that um, I have a certain lifespan, but I want to give my life to to you, Lord. Uh, I want to count my days so that I can be wise, wise unto you. And I want my days to glorify you because I'm setting my heart. I'm meditating that I'm on a spiritual journey and my pilgrimage is taking me to the destination that you have prepared for me. It's taking me to the promised land. It's taking me to what I am to inherit in you. And for your heart to be set on pilgrimage, you have to understand that your strength is in the Lord. You can never ever move successfully in this life. Move in the spiritual journey that God has laid out for you. And he knows every step. He knows every step you're to take before you take it. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? That speaks of his sovereign power. He is our almighty God. But we must have the strength of the Lord so that we can navigate by the Spirit the pathway that is set before us.